Hi, welcome to Metro CSG. This is Ria. Are you tired of all the errors you encountered when facilitating your customers' bookings? Like, are there any instances where you have double bookings for your services or any point that you have forgotten your customers' appointments? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to conveniently manage your bookings, email reminders, and calendars all in one application in a quick and easy way. No need for you to learn how to integrate all of this and encounter errors. Yes, it is possible through Microsoft Bookings. Microsoft Bookings is a scheduling tool that can customize scheduling details, can streamline service so you can include the staff who will render the service, and any booking requirements your business needs. And what's good is it is integrated into your Microsoft 365 calendar, so you won't have to waste time manually checking your work schedule and customer's appointments. Whether you meet your customers in person or through Microsoft Teams, you can save your time and efforts and spend more time doing your core service. Microsoft Bookings is available in both business and enterprise accounts. For business account, it is available in both business standard and business premium packages. Whereas in enterprise accounts, it is available in all packages from E3 to E5 and F3. You can access Microsoft Bookings in your Office accounts by clicking the Apps Launcher and choose Bookings. It will lead you to a dashboard where you can see the bookings made, the estimated revenue, and the numbers of customers who booked in the application. In order to create a profile, we need to update first the Business Information menu where we can input the details like the business name, the location, and the phone number, and even the business hours. We can also embed the website URL, the privacy policy URL, and the terms and conditions URL. It is also here that you can add a logo and save it. Our next step is to update the services. So we made a sample service here, and you can just click the Add a Service button for you to add another service or type of service that you want to include. Then you can specify the service name, the description, the default location, and also you can enable the Add Online Meeting if that requires for your business. You can also include the default duration where you can identify the duration of time when booking this particular service. Another feature is to include a buffer time where your customers cannot book a particular hour and minutes of the day. This is so helpful when you have block schedules or allocated time to do your work. You also have an option to let customers manage their appointments when it was booked by you or your staff on their behalf. Now for the pricing, you have an option to choose if it's fixed price or it's hourly or it varies. Say for example, we're going to use fixed price at a price of $100. Then you can also include a special note that only your staff can read. You can also check the email reminders and add enable message notifications by your customers through text notifications. You also have an option to update your online scheduling where you can have a schedule policy of the time increments or the number of days before a customer can book an appointment. If you want your customers to identify the staff or choose a specific person for the booking, just enable the staff checklist. You can also update the availability whether 
you are bookable when staff are free or not bookable or choose custom hours that is recurring weekly. You have an option to choose the dates and the time of the day where your customers can or cannot book a particular appointment and services. Say, for example, we're going to use March 23rd and 24th as not bookable, and on the April and 4th and April 6th, we have custom hours. Then click Save for this particular service, so it will be updated in our calendar. Our next step is to add a staff. You can manage your staff, especially if you have more than one staff who render the services. So click the Add a Staff, input the initials, choose the color, and input the name and the email. You can choose what is their role, whether they are viewer, administrators, or cast for this particular services. Enable email notifications so that they will be notified when someone booked with them. And update the availability depending on the business hours or their responsibilities or roles. Then click Save. Next step is the customer's menu. You can add your customers individually or you can import customers to save time and resources. Now that we have added new staff, we can check the calendar to see if it is already synchronized. Then the last part of configuration is the booking page where you can identify the access control and customer data usage consent. So whether you require your customers to have Microsoft 365 emails or other emails, or you require them to have a one-time password or disable search content, and you can also include the customer data usage content, you can do it all here, including the scheduling policy from the time increments and the minimum and maximum lead time a customer can book, so say, for example, we can allow them to book 30 days in advance, especially when they need that special agreement. Check or uncheck the staff if you allow the customers to choose a specific person for the booking and update all the availability you need to include and also the region and time settings if you want your business time zone to be shown in the booking applications. And you can also choose the color and the template, whether it's classic or the new type of template. Once you were able to update all, make sure to click save and publish so that you can now use it. So it has a green icon, it means it is already published and you can copy and share it in your Facebook, Twitter, or any email. Now we are done and we can try to book an appointment as a customer. So here is your booking page that uh, you can share to your clients or to your website where it shows all the available services the staff and the time and date that they can choose and they can input all their details. It's simple and easy to use and less hassle for the clients to make their appointments. For example, we'll try to choose taxation consultancy and you will see that the block dates that we updated and our availability are not shown, so we cannot book an appointment with that. And also with the April 4th to 6th, there's no available time. So whatever you do in your app availability, it will be automatically updated in the booking application. Okay, so let's try to choose March 28th and choose a staff, and then input the name and the email and um, choose the usage consent. And if you have special requirements, 
This is where the customers can put it and click booking. This will prompt a booking confirmation along with an email confirmation sent to the customers. And it will also land to a page where it shows the date and the staff that you book with and also the button where you can reschedule, cancel booking, or create a new booking for multiple bookings that you need or the customers need. Now, let us try the other one, the payroll consulting. And uh, let's choose a date, again, with the staff, and choose an hour. Since this is an hourly rate, and, and we configure this depending on the availability of the staff. So the same thing, input your details or the customer's details and the special requirements and the data usage consent and click book. To also receive the same booking confirmation with email confirmation to the customers. It will also land to the same page where customers can check the booking confirmation. Now let's try to check the email. It will send you links for the meeting and another email for booking confirmation where you can see all the details and you can also directly join to your appointment by clicking the button or choose the reschedule button. Now, what will happen if we try to reschedule? Okay, so from the same booking, we will reschedule the time from 12 to 12.30 and then update it. Click Update Booking, and it'll also send another email booking or book booking updates with the links on it. Now there is your booking is updated, and you can also join from the button. Now let's check the email confirmation from your end. So it will give you an email detailing all the booking details, including the projected revenue from that booking. And you can also click the join your appointment button so that you can directly jump into the meeting. And once you click to view bookings, it will also be synchronized into your calendar. So there will be no missed bookings for each customers. The synchronized calendar will help you manage your staff and your appointments. Microsoft Bookings is so useful, especially for small and medium businesses, professionals, and other service providers. Address your scheduling needs and make your staff and customers happy through this easy-to-use application. That's it. Hope you are able to find the convenience, flexibility, and control Microsoft Bookings provides for you and your business and your customers as well. For more productivity and business applications tips, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.